All right, so we found the height of the big triangle, either by using the Pythagorean theorem or the 30-60-90 ratio. Now, where did we need to find that? We needed to find the height because, according to the theorem, the concurrency of medians of a triangle from that center or from that point of concurrency to the vertex the distance is two-thirds of the entire distance of the median. That means the other part from the center to the midpoint is one-third, and that one-third for an equilateral also happens to be the radius of a circle. That's why we needed to know the height, so we could determine the one-third, which is the radius. So now that we know what the height is, let me take that in a quotient form as 3 over 2 square root of 3. So we have the height of 3 over 2 square root of 3. Now we just need one third of it, which will become the, the radius. So I'm going to multiply one third. Simplify the numbers. So I get square root of 3 over 2. And that now is the radius. Yeah! Now with that radius, of course, I could find the area of a circle. Pi r squared. So I get pi times the radius, which is square root of 3 over 2, squared. When you multiply two identical radicals, the radicand comes out, and 2 squared is 4 times pi. So I'm going to leave my answer in radian form like this, 3 over pi, 3 over 4 pi, that is. Now I'm going to find the height of the triangle, the small triangle, because I need to subtract that away from the big circle. Now, how do I do that? How do I find the altitude of that small triangle? Well, here's what we know. The center of that radius, again, falls under the theorem of the concurrency or medians of a triangle. In an equilateral triangle, that center also happens to be the median for the little guy, where they intersect. Yeah. So, we know that the radius from here to here, which was the radius, it was square root of 3 over 2. That was one-third, right? Now, that becomes the two-thirds of the small triangle. Well, then, square root of 3 over 2, the radius, is actually two-thirds of the entire distance of that median, isn't it? So I'm going to let that equal to 2 thirds x. And when I solve for x, I'm going to find out what the total height is. So I'm going to multiply the reciprocal of 2 thirds. So that's 3 over 2. Do it to both sides of the equation. So I get x is equal to, here it comes. That's 3 times square root of 3. 2 times 2. And that is the height. And that is the height of this small triangle. Oops, am I going off the screen? No, I'm still there. <laughs> so that is the height of this entire height of the small triangle. All right, so now let's go back. Well, we know that since we're talking about a factor of 1 to 2, if this is 3, then we know this is half of that 3, so this is 3 over 2. Now, I don't need to know the hypotenuse. This is also 3 over 2, by the way. And the height is 3 squared of 3 over 4. So I could find the area of a triangle finally. It's 1 half base times height. So area equals 1 half times the base, which is 3 over 2, times the height, which is 3 square root of 3 over 4. How am I doing? Am I still on the screen? I'm getting close. So let me move that up, in fact. Here we go. Is there anything I could simplify here? Uh, nope. <laughs> so the area is 3 times 3 is 9, square root of 3. And the denominator is 2 times 2 is 4, times 4 is 16. So holy moly, there's my area of the triangle. Here's my area of the circle. Circle, triangle. Subtract, and I find the remaining sections. So how do you do this? So we go 3 fourth pi minus 9 square root of 3 over 16. Thank goodness for calculators, huh? I hope you have one. So here we go. 
3 over 4 pi. Okay, that's 3 times the pi, which is 3.14, blah, blah, blah. That equals 9.4. Divide that by 4. And I get, what does that say? 2.356? Let's just say 2.356. And we're going to take away from that this quotient. So let's do the radical first. 3 square rooted, which is 1.73, it's a radical number, uh, times the coefficient 9, which equals even uglier number, 15.5, and divide that by 16. That gives me 0 0.9742. 0 0.974, let's round it up. Or in what? 7... Four. You know, let's leave it like that. Since we have a three decimal places, let's make that as well. So now, let's subtract 2.356 minus 0 0.974. We're going to get 1.382 units squared. Remaining for this shaded region. Yeah. Did you get all that? <laughs> Good luck.